Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are making nabe, which is hot pot in Japanese. This is nabe season. And today we're gonna to be making our original nabe uh, using lots and lots of mushrooms and kampyo, which is squash, gourd, shavings. You guys are going to love this one. Guys, it's been a while since we did a cooking video. We thought it was time to do one. Besides, we really wanted to eat nabe today and Satoshi thought of an original nabe and I thought it would be interesting to share it with you guys. We often eat nabe hot pot dish in winter season. Today's one is my original but very, very simple, very easy. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. So come to our kitchen first. I'm gonna prepare this kampyo. Kampyo. Yes, it's very easy to prepare. So these are dried kampyo, which are squash gourd shavings. It's a very typical Japanese ingredient. First, I'm gonna wash this one. Now, the reason why I find this interesting is because most of the time you will find kampyo in sushi, and that's about it. Uh, you don't really see kampyo in a variety of dishes, but we have learned how to use this very delicious ingredient. First, I'm gonna wash lightly. This squash gourd kampyo is very good. The regular kampyo, you have to massage with salt, but this one is not bleached. So, just wash lightly and it's okay. Originally, kampyo is like rope, so it is too long to eat as nabe. I'm gonna cut into about two inch, two inches or three inches like this. About like this. Okay, so about two to three inches. Two to three inches. And I have to cook, make it soft. Put these kampyo strips into water into water and turn on heat bring to a boil and cook about 7 to 8 minutes until it becomes soft during boiling I will prepare other ingredients the most regular or important ingredients or vegetables for nabe this is haksai Chinese cabbage we always use this vegetable for nabe if you don't like Chinese cabbage, you can omit and you can use regular cabbage instead. Okay, remove this root stem part and cut like this about two inch. The edge part is soft, so this is okay. Put these haksai in the bottom of this pot. The water come comes out from this vegetable like this and the soft part is beautiful so I always place like this today I prepared shiitake mushroom enoki mushrooms maitake mushrooms and this is interesting one yamabushi take first I'm gonna prepare shiitake mushrooms so remove the, this part, this part, and cut out the stem. And I use for dashi this part. So slice it and make a crisscross. But if you make like this, it become more. It become more beautiful. You don't have to do at home, but it's beautiful. Then place this stem part at the bottom. This is for dashi and Put mushrooms like this. So kampyo is ready. I'm gonna drain this kampyo. Okay. okay. And keep the kampyo to the side. 
マイタケマシュルームズ。ペア、指で手、hand、and、place、like this。It's easy to tear and it becomes like a flower。エノキマシュルーム。remove this part。remove this part。we don't eat this part。Okay. Still, it's solid. Tear with your hand. You don't have to remove every mushroom piece. Like this. Keep like this. It's easy to eat. Then place in the nabe. Okay. Then, Yamabushi Take. Like a, it's like a enoki mushroom. Remove this part. This brown part is not edible.、Yeah. And tear from the top. Like this. Oh. It's interesting texture. What shall I say? It's like a imitation club. <laughs> Or a dried squid. That's fun. Okay, place in the pot. Next, I'm gonna prepare tofu. So, cut into. Hmm. Hmm. So, I think 12 is nice. Then, put in pot. You don't have to place all ingredients in one time. For nabe, I recommend you put some kind of meat, fish, or seafood. Today we're gonna use tsumire fish balls. Place these meat balls in the pot. If you are vegetarian, please omit these meat balls or fish balls. Just use vegetables. Here is a space. I save this space for kampyo. I place this campio here. Mushrooms and campio is today's main ingredients. So far, my nabe color is mono, white and brown mono color. So I want to add other color. I use carrot. Slice, slice like this. Um, sometimes I cut. This carrot, like flower petal, but it's very time consuming. I don't do it today. Instead, I cut like this, just like this. Then, and place in nabe, like this. Don't you think so? It's beautiful. Okay, other, other ingredients, I'm gonna use Mizuna and Negi green onion. Remove this stem part. And cut about two or three inches, five to seven centimeters. And Mizuna is very easy to cook, so I'll put later. So set aside now. And green onion, remove this stem part. I only use this white part. White part. This part for I'm gonna be using for other purpose and cut diagonal like this. And Negi is also easy to cook, so I will put later. So now set aside. So for nabe, very important thing is soup. I'm gonna make soup next. Put three cups about 750 milliliters of water into your pot and put seasonings inside. Three tablespoons of soy sauce. Three tablespoons of sake. And three tablespoons of mirin.
And I'm gonna put instant dashi powder inside. About two teaspoon of dashi powder. It's for 750 milliliter water. Once it comes to a boil, immediately dump into nabe. It's easy. Okay, it is boiling now. So turn off the heat. Pour all over this nabe. You can you can make this soup inside of this nabe first. But but in that case, your ingredients will float immediately. So you cannot display these ingredients beautiful. Close the lid and bring it to boil once. Okay, it is boiling. So now I'm gonna be putting negi, green onions. There is no strict rule. You can put green onion first, but I put later. I like the texture of green onion. And Mizuna, some mitsuba. You don't have to put all the ones. Like this. Just like this. Cover again. And transfer to our table. Yay! It's nabe time! Nabe time! Yay! It's dinner time! It's very easy to Let's cook. cook. Yep. Just cut, dump in pot, and pour a soup. That's it. And bring it to boil. Yeah. Very, very easy. So, um, yeah, I think the hardest part is deciding what kind of nabe you want. Yeah. <laughs> but then that's part of the fun. That's part yes. of the fun, I think. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so let's open and let's. Eat. Let's dig in. Ta-da! Inyo, it smells so good. Mina san, nabe suki desu ka? Nabe no kisetsu desu ne. Eh, nabe no kisetsu desu. Winter season. It's a nabe season. Nabe season. Yes, and we enjoy nabe all year long. So I'm going to have myself a negi. I also like my negi not too soggy, so we like to add it last. Some haksai. Which is a Chinese cabbage. And then, kampyo. Kampyo nabe. This is so unique, guys. Never have I had kampyo in my nabe before. I'm gonna take one of the tsumine. These are the fish balls. Of course, I'm gonna pour some of the soup over my ingredients in my individual plate here. Look at that. It looks so good. I'm gonna start off with the kampyo. Let's try kampyo. I'm so curious to see what this tastes like. Okay, I'm gonna take tofu, mizuna. Of course, I have to take kampyo today's main ingredients. And this mushroom. It's also one of the main ingredients. <laughs> yes. And maitake mushroom. Of course, I need tsumire. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Are you gonna try the kampyo first? You know what? We should try the soup first. Okay. Oishi! Mm. <laughs> we said it at the same time. Variety of flavors mm. go through to this soup. Yeah. Mm. And, and, you know, because we didn't use any meat today, there is no like a meaty flavor, but it's also a very clean flavor, which I, I like sometimes. This is really nice. I'm gonna try the kampyo first. Okay. Squash oh. gourd shavings. Mmm. Mm. Oishi! I love it. Me too. Wonderful texture. Mm. The soup flavor goes through to this kampyo. Mm. Um, texture is good. Yeah, and you not know, soft. Yeah, not firm. You know, I always um tell this to my uh, vegetarian friends. Mm -hmm. Kampyo makes a good substitute for meat, not because it has protein. It doesn't have much protein. It has more uh, potassium, but it has like a meaty texture. 
I'm gonna enjoy my nabe with a little bit of kanzuri. If you guys didn't know, kanzuri is that uh, fermented uh, chili paste. It's a traditional Japanese chili paste. It takes like three years, three to, years make. to make. Right. And this, as well as the kampil, can be found in our holiday care package for 2022. On sale right now until December 31st. I'm gonna have the meatball with that little bit of kanzuri. I put it on mushrooms. Mm. I am obsessed with this chili paste. I really, really am. And you know, it's mm. good. And kanzuri is something even um, some Japanese people don't, don't know about. Mm -hmm. I was surprised. Mm -hmm. It's one of her favorite condiments and yeah. most of her Japanese friends yeah. never heard mm -hmm. of it before. So it is fermented. Mm. So it has umami, not just chili paste. Mm. I'm gonna have a little bit more with my kanpyo. Mm -hmm. I think it'll be really good with my kanpyo. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. mm. You know what, I think this would be good. Oden as well. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Inside of this kanzuri, mm. they use yuzu. I see. That's why it has that aromatic. Aromatic. Yes. A little bit of citrusy. Flavor. I see. Okay. And the other thing that I want to add is a little bit of shikwasa, which is 100% shikwasa juice from Okinawa. Again, in our care package. I poured a little bit of the shikwasa juice on my tsumire. Mm. It's so good. Refreshing. Mm. It's super refreshing. Mm. Super refreshing and also flavorful. Today, mm. I I make this sip a little bit stronger than usual. Ah, I think that was a good idea. I was thinking about the sequasa juice. Mm. The sequasa juice is refreshing. Mm -hmm. So, so the combination of this soup flavor and mm. sequasa flavor mm. matches very nicely. Mm. It really, really does. You know what? I, 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 want, I wish we had sake today. <laughs> this would go really well with sake, ne? Kanzuri mm -hmm. with um, tofu. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, um, my other favorite way of eating uh, this uh, chili paste is on rice balls. Like, um, mm. spread a little bit on the mm -hmm. surface of rice mm -hmm. balls and grill it. It's so good. Mm -hmm. So, so good. Mm. 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 Oh my god. You know, I, I don't like the cold, but I love the foods of winter. Like, especially the um, nabe. Nabe is probably my favorite uh, winter dish. Mm. Satoshi, thank you so much for making nabe. My pleasure. I'm so, so happy. Please make nabe. Again. Every day? Not every day. Maybe like um, twice a week. Twice a week is good enough. <laughs> do you guys like nabe? Let us know. I mean, I know many of you guys like oden, but do you like nabe? Let us know in the comments down below. Um, please give this a try. Nabe is so easy to make and I promise you, if you live in a place where the winters are cold, this is going to warm you up from the inside out. We have a link to the Kokoro Care package in the description. Thank you for watching. See you on next delicious video. Bye bye. Bye guys.